Those of you who are familiar with crimping wire will know that this old favourite tool gets a little bit tiresome on the shoulders, particularly when you're dealing with the larger diameter 4 and 3.15 and barbed crimps. There's an awful lot of aluminium you've got to squash between the jaws and you've got to do it a lot of times. This tool not only reduces all the effort but you can do an entire crimp in two squeezes. So let's not hang about, let's go out on the fence line and see what it's like to use this and then test it on some two and a half mil high tensile wire and some two mil high tensile barb. Inserting the dies into the crimp is pretty simple. All you have to do is pry apart the jaws slightly, insert the crimps into the slot, and then pull back the safety catch until they drop into position. Now we're not actually testing the humble plumber's tool today. You can get them anywhere. What we're testing are the crimp dies. Now these are highly accurately machined piece of tool that you can only get from Easy Wire, and they promise to make your life a lot easier on the fence line. And that's where the magic happens. As long as you line them up properly. How good is that? So ease of use, big tick. But that's not why we're here. We're here to break things. Let's get the fence stay test bench set up. If you're not sure how this thing works, roll the tape. The wire with the knot in it is attached at each end with a spiral fast because they're just as strong as the wire. Up at this end, I've got a lever that I jack out using a bottle jack with a set of crane scales attached that I'm recording with this camera here. Okay, okay so, so we've got a piece of plain, unbroken 2.5mm high tensile wire secured at either end with spiral fasts. Let's see what the unbroken wire strength is of this particular reel on this particular day. And then we're going to put a crimp in a similar piece and compare its strength to the original wire. Here we go, and we're up to 180 kilos already. I love breaking things first thing. It's pretty strong. Good Murray wire. What are we up to now? 479 kilos. Well beyond recommended strain tension. We should be into the stretch zone soon. 545 kilos. I think I can feel it starting to stretch a lot. It might just be the bottle jack. 580. I wouldn't be standing near it now. Six hundred odd, somewhat. There we go. Okay, so that's the strain tension for unbroken two and a half mil high tensile wire. Okay, so same setup as before, same two and a half mil high tensile off the same reel on the same day. This time we're testing the crimp in the middle. I'll stop talking and get out of the way. Let's break some stuff. 270 odd kilos. So we're well past the recommended tension on the wire and we're well past its recommended elastic capacity. We're already up to 500 kilos and that crimp's not breaking yet. I think we can call this successful now, but we'll find out what the breaking percentage of the wire is. Oh man, this is copping a lot of abuse. You can see why crimps are one of my favourite joiners. Will the wire break before the crimp? I don't know if it's my imagination. Oh, there we go. I thought I saw some deformation in that crimp. And the wire has broken right on the end of the crimp. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I'm sort of guessing it's in the focal range. 
you can see there's a little bit of wire in there. The crimp hasn't actually given way. The wire's broken right on the edge of the crimp. I think what that means is that there was a little bit of twist involved as we started to tighten up the wire, because this wire was pulling down lower than this one. And wherever you twist high tensile wire, that's where it's gonna break. So the crimp, we could pretty much conclude, is almost every bit as strong as the wire. Now we're gonna try and test the crimp dies on two mil high tensile barb. Not my favorite stuff to work on. Now to make it work on this test bench, what we've had to do is we've had to tie off plain wire on each end with a spiral fast because that's the only join that will hang on for the purposes of this test. And then we're going to put a piece of two mil high tensile barb in between those plain pieces of wire tied off with figure eight knots. Then in the middle of that barb, we're gonna put our crimp. So really, this test puts the crimp dies up against the figure eight knot, which is the next best, strongest join. And we get to break high tensile barbed wire, which is a little bit dangerous, but we've got our speed dealers on, so we should be fine. Now, as I say in the classics, what could possibly go wrong? I've made sure to crimp the barbed wire three times because Jamie tells me that with the larger crimps, three's a charm for extra strength and we want to give this as much chance as possible. So let's start winching. Now there'll probably be a bit of a take up of the figure eight knots. And in fact, I'm just going to check this camera and make sure that the scales are still in range. Hang on a second. Bit of an adjustment there. All right, so we're up to 55 kilos, 60 kilos. About 100 kilos. 150. What's gonna give out first figure eight or crimp? 199. Geez, I wouldn't like to be that camera at the moment. 240. I don't know whether that was the knots giving way or not. Uh, that's 290 something. 300 and something. <sighs> 382. And one of the figure eight knots gave way, not the crimp. So the crimp is stronger than a figure eight knot in barbed wire as well, as long as you crimp it three times. I crimped it twice and here's what happened. Hitting about 70 or 90, 120 kilos, 160 kilos. So we've gone beyond recommended strain tension on this wire anyway. And now we've gone ooh, almost to twice the recommended strain tension. And yes, the crimp has given way. And finally, we're gonna do a test on 3.15 soft wire because there is a crimp for that. Even though I haven't really bothered with soft before on the test bench, because I reckon I'm gonna be able to stretch it before it breaks. Let's see how we go anyway. We're up to uh, just a bit over 70 kilos, over 100 now. We've gone well beyond the recommended strain tension for 3.15 and the crimp's holding strong. Secured at either end by an oversized spiral fast. Heading on towards 300 now. And we should start to see a bit of stretch now. And that is exactly what we're seeing. You can see that the the weight's going up to 283 and then it's coming back down to 270 as the wire stretches to give. That's why people like this wire where there are conditions like trees and stuff like that that'll fall on fences, even fire. It stretches rather than breaks. It's just getting thinner. We haven't gone over 300 really. Oh, 314 kilos, but as soon as I stop pumping the jack, the tension goes down because the wire's just stretching. And we're at the end of the limit of the jack, and we still haven't really gone much past 300 kilos. The crimps held well. If you're going to use crimps on mild wire, go for your life. Something's got to go boom. I'd just like to shout out today to the sponsors who made this all possible, Fence Day for their test bench and great end assemblies, 
And of course, Murray, a genuine Australian owned company that manufactures on the Murray River. Guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more on timthompson.ag and I'll see you next week.